What is up, cadets? So you are looking to grab some Atlas tokens, the in-game currency for Star Atlas, and you're having a difficult time finding them on any type of centralized exchange, like maybe one of the exchanges that you use all the time does not offer it. I'm just going to show you a piece of cake, super easy way to actually acquire these. Actually, I'm going to show you multiple different ways that you can acquire these tokens. Let's get into it. Let's go. Alright man, so we are going to grab ourselves some Atlas tokens, some of those nice juicy Atlas tokens. Um, well, how we're going to be doing that is we're going to be doing a little bit of swappage. We're going to use a decentralized exchange to actually swap for these Atlas tokens. The reason that I personally love doing it this way is that I have a really difficult time buying Atlas tokens on a centralized exchange. And by centralized exchange, I mean um, something like Binance or Coinbase or KuCoin. You know, any of the big exchanges out there, most of them, at least in the United States of America that I have access to, do not offer the Atlas token. So it is actually very easy to actually obtain Atlas tokens using a decentralized exchange as long as you have Solana or USDC, which is a Solana based token. Um, speaking of that, the Atlas token itself is built upon the Solana blockchain and the actual game itself, the play to earn blockchain game Star Atlas that the Atlas token represents is also built upon Solana. So the whole entire ecosystem of the Solana blockchain works very well with obtaining these Atlas tokens. Now, if we look at Solana, the reason that we're actually going to use either Solana or USDC is that these two currencies are very, very easy to get your hands on. They are two of the top um, currencies as far as market caps go in the whole entire world. Um, so you can see right here, Bitcoin is number one, Solana is number five, and USDC is number seven. So if you have a centralized exchange that you can actually use in your country and you can swap whatever your country's currency is for either Solana or USDC, this will be a piece of cake for you. And it's a super piece of cake for me as a US citizen. I just use Coinbase. I buy some Solana, send it over to a crypto wallet, which we'll talk about in a second. And I do the this, uh, this little swappage for my Atlas tokens. What makes it super easy is that Solana has some fantastic wallets out there that actually have integrated DEXs or decentralized exchanges built right into the wallets. We'll, we'll, we'll touch base on that in just a second. I just want to talk a little bit about the Atlas token. Just like any type of investment, you should do your own personal due diligence, your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm only here to show you how I personally get my hands on some Atlas tokens. Um, but let's just jump into Coin Market Cap. This is a website I use all the time just to, you know, kind of familiarize myself with um, certain types of crypto. I also use this one right here, which is Coin Gecko. They're very similar. You can use either one. Um, but Coin Market Cap, you can see on the left right here, has all sorts of information. You can check out the market cap, the 24 hour volume, the total supply, max supply, fully diluted market cap on and on on the left right here. Um, in the middle right here, you can check out the charts. You can see how it's been performing in the past. As you go down, you can see the different markets that you can actually purchase Atlas tokens upon. Um, there is some centralized exchanges, like I had mentioned Coinbase, you know, Binance, everything like that. Well, they're not available on those, but they are. Um, you can grab um, Atlas tokens on Gate.io. Um, Kraken, it says right here that they are available on Kraken, but I, I, I have a Kraken account and I've not been able to purchase Atlas, Atlas tokens through my Kraken account. I'm not too sure if it's something about being a U.S. citizen or not. Um, if you guys have been able to purchase Atlas tokens through Kraken, let me know in the comments below. Um, Radium right here, this is a decentralized exchange or because a decentralized exchange, um, we might be actually using those within this video. Um, MEXC or MEXC, um, centralized, on and on. You can actually scroll through. There's a whole bunch more right here. So maybe there is a centralized exchange that you actually use um, on a daily basis or within your country you have the option to use. And maybe you'll be able to just purchase Atlas tokens in that in that certain way. So it's good to know that these markets right here, you might um, be able to skip a step. Um, but either way, you're going to see it's super easy to use one of these um, Solana-based wallets. Um, you'll just see in one second. Um, but here we go. Um, Star Atlas News. You can check on any current news um, that's going on in the Star Atlas ecosystem or maybe even some news on the Atlas tokens themselves. On the um, right right here, you'll be able to see some comments, the recent comments people are making about the Atlas tokens. This is a quick overview right here in the middle about Star Atlas, about what's going on with the actual game itself. And then you can come down to the allocation and look at the different token distribution um, between like private, well, you know, what was given as far as the Atlas tokens to private sales, public sales, um, looks like uh, uh, rewards and emissions. Um, some were given to the team on and on. 
the ICO doesn't matter because that already ended two years ago. All right, so now we got a little gist of it. Please do some even more deeper research on it before you invest in Atlas tokens. All right, so this is actually the homepage right here for staratlas.com. If you come over to this page right here and there's three little lines up in the upper left corner right here, if you click on that, you can see that you have the option to um, get the PDF of the white paper. And the white paper is actually the original basically game plan for the actual whole entire Star Atlas game itself and the all the cryptocurrencies that are behind it. There's actually two of them, Atlas and Polis. You can read all about that once you click on that. And so here is the white paper right here. As you scroll down, there's all sorts of different chapters that you can go to. But if you look right here, chapter six is the Star Atlas economics section. And you can see right at the very beginning, 6.1 is the Atlas in-game currency. So you can read all about the Atlas token right there. And if you scroll on down, I just want to read this just very first uh, paragraph, just so you have a general idea about the actual token. It says right here, Atlas in-game currency. Atlas will serve as the native in-game currency within Star Atlas. It is the lubricant of the metaverse. Players will initially leverage Atlas to acquire digital assets such as ships, crew, components, land, and equipment. However, as in any real economy, a financial system is necessary to facilitate commerce. Whether it be through NPC merchants or direct peer-to-peer -peer transactions, Atlas is the unit of account to execute operational requirements. So you can read a lot more about Atlas, and as you actually, you can see all the economics, everything like that, um, to do with um, the Atlas token. And as you scroll down, it also goes into Polis, which is the second token for Star Atlas, the governance token. I'm doing a whole standalone video upon that, so please make sure you're subscribed so you can actually um, see when I post that video also. So let's get into actually purchasing some Atlas tokens. So we have two different options. You can actually download one of these Solana wallets I'm about to talk about. I'm going to talk about three different Solana wallets. This is probably the easiest way to actually swap for um, for Atlas tokens, but you could also actually use maybe one of your preferred wallets that you already own. Maybe you're too clustered and you just don't want to deal with one more wallet. Um, there's there's plenty of wallets that actually, if you already own, that can, can be linked to one of these decentralized exchanges that actually swap for Atlas tokens. We'll talk about that in a second, but let's first talk about the three Solana-based wallets. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Phantom Wallet. It's probably the most popular of all these Solana-based wallets, and it's the one that I personally use to actually hold all of my Star Atlas assets, like all of my ships and skins and stuff like that that I have for the Star Atlas game. Um, you can make your own decision. Maybe you like one over the other. Um, all three of the ones I'm going to mention are very good, very safe. So Phantom Wallet, if you download it, you can download it on your for your computer if you have a PC or a Mac. Um, usually the... It, um, there's a plugin for whatever browser you're using. And you can see right here, I'm using Microsoft Edge and actually recognizes that I'm using Microsoft Edge. And so I could just download the plugin right there for the extension for the wallet. You can also download it for your mobile phone. So if you have, or even your, um, if you have a tablet or an iPad, you can download it for that. Um, it works for both Apple and for Android. Um, so you can kind of just scroll through this website. I'm going to leave a link down below. And and once you download the wallet, it's just like every single crypto wallet, you're going to have to download or write down a key phrase. Make sure you keep that safe. And I'll show you what the wallet actually looks like here on my browser. And here it is. This is my demo wallet right here. And you can see that I sent some Solana over to it and I have some USDC. So now we can finally actually purchase some Atlas tokens and you're going to be mind blown at how easy it is. So remember, I said that there's actually a built in decentralized exchange right into the Solana wallets. Well, check this out. See those two little arrows that go two different directions at the very bottom of the wallet. Well, all you have to do is click on that and it brings you to a swapping mechanism right here. So we are going to let's start out with uh, USDC first. We're going to swap some USDC for the Atlas token. All you have to do is type in Atlas right here. Whoop, it should pop right up. Um, let's see, we'll do ninety one dollar uh, worth of USDC for $1 of Star Atlas. Actually, before I do that, I just want you to notice that I have $19.45 in the wallet. I just want to show you how cheap it is to actually swap for coins on Solana. All right, so this $1 of USDC is actually going to give us $1.02 worth of Star Atlas. Um, now, what the, these, um, these built-in DEXs and these wallets do is they actually look for the best price that you can actually get, or at least the Oh, see, it just actually changed or the uh, best providers for you to actually do the swap. So it does all the legwork for you. So it's going to use two de different decentralized exchanges, um, Meteora and Radium, actually, to get us these Atlas tokens. And we lost one penny just because I was talking right there. We'll just do the swap and you'll see how fast it actually is. It's all done. And check this out. 
super fast, 19.46. So we actually made a penny because of arbitrage. Um, so we actually now have our Star Atlas tokens already in our wallet. 192 Star Atlas tokens. It was super fast, super easy. The Solana blockchain that we just traded, swapped the tokens on is just phenomenal. I love it in every single way. If you actually did the same swap in on Ethereum without using one of the layer twos, if you actually tried to swap with Ethereum, this could have cost you $10 in gas fees just to get a dollar worth of Star Atlas tokens. So um, yeah, kudos to, to Solana. So speaking of Solana, let's actually do that exact same trade, but we are actually going to use Solana instead of USDC. So we'll do a uh, 0.01. Let's see what that gives us. 94 cents um, worth of Atlas tokens. We're going to, it looks like it's going to use the um, the same gateway right here, Meteora and Radium to actually do the swap. It's going to cost us almost nothing. There we go. We're swapping our tokens. It's all done. Let's go back to our wallet real fast. We can see it's already in our wallet. Now we have 371.62 Star Atlas tokens. Piece of cake. Um, so I hope this is helpful so far. I'm just going to show you a couple of different options, a couple different wallets. Um, maybe for some reason, um, Phantom isn't available to you wherever you live. Um, there is other options out there. So Soulflare is a phenomenal wallet. I've actually used this wallet also. It works the exact same way that I explained how Phantom works. You can get the mobile version of it right here, or you can just download it for whatever browser you're using on your PC or your Mac. Um, you can scroll through, read some information on it right there. Both these wallets, actually, you can integrate your ledger along with these actually uh, these wallets that are on your phone. So it makes it kind of easy to do some swapping if you want to actually use a cold storage wallet. But I just want to show you what this wallet looks like. It's very, very similar to the Phantom wallet. And here we go. We actually have the Soulflare wallet. And I just made this quick demo wallet just so you can um, check out what it looks like. I don't have any Solana in this one, so we're not going to do a swap. But it works exactly the same way as that Phantom wallet. So you can see right here at the very bottom, it's still got those same two arrows, just like the Phantom wallet. And all you have to do, you can use Solana or USDC, and all you have to do is type in the word Atlas, and the Atlas token pops right up, piece of cake, and you just follow the exact same instructions that I just explained in the Phantom Wallet. It'll do all the legwork for you. It'll find the best um, decentralized exchanges to actually do the swap, and blam, you're done. And let's go over one more wallet. It's called the Backpack Wallet. Um, here is the main site right here, but if you go to downloads, it'll give you a couple different options. And there's actually more than just right here, what it, what it says on the desktop, because I, I have it for my um, Microsoft Edge, and that's actually not even offered right here. So there's definitely more if you maybe you have to just um, type it in um, to the um, Google browser or something like that. But you can see you can also get it on the App Store, Google Play, so you can get it for your telephone too. And I'm just going to show you what this wallet looks like. It's just a tiny bit different, but it all works the same. So here is the backpack wallet, and you can see it doesn't have those two arrows at the very bottom, but here they are right here. Here's the swap function. So you have receive, send, and swap. If you click on that, you can do this, the, the same exact thing that we just explained in the other two wallets. You just have to type in the word Atlas right here, and you'll be able to swap Solana, USDC. You can choose whatever you would like right there and swap it for your Atlas tokens. So I'm actually going to show you two different other ways to actually swap if you don't want to actually download yourself a Solana wallet, you can actually use, maybe you just want to hold on to your ledger or something like that. You can go to one of the Solana decentralized exchanges, just go right to the exchange itself. This one is radium.io. I'll leave a link down below for this exchange and for the next one I'm going to talk about. But what you would do is you would connect your wallet and you can see that there's some different options for wallets right here. Here's ledger that I mentioned before. Um, Taurus, you can hit this wallet connect that has a whole bunch of different wallets in it. Okay, X, uh, Trust Wallet, Coinbase Wallet. So if you have one of those options, if you have one of the, the wallets that it's talking about, then you can um, you you click that. It links your wallet. As long as you have Solana, USDC, or actually any type of Solana-based token um, within that wallet, you can then swap it for Atlas tokens. Piece of cake. Now, the other one I want to talk about is Jupiter. The Jupiter Decentralized Exchange, this one works very similar. Um, the website is jup.ag. Um, you would connect your wallet. Now you can see right here is the three that we already talked about, the three main Solana wallets, but it also has these ones right here, OKX, Wallet, Trust Wallet, here's Ledger again, Coinbase Wallet, if you connect one of those wallets, um, you can just make the swap in any way you want. Here, here's an example, you can actually buy Bonk on Coinbase and swap Bonk for Atlas tokens. Um, here's USDC for Atlas tokens. So it, it all works the exact same. Super cool. So now that you have Atlas tokens, and I'm, I'm hoping that that was nice and easy for you and you got yourself some Atlas tokens, I just want to touch base on one quick thing that you can do with your Atlas tokens real fast. If you go to the Star Atlas Marketplace, there is something called the DAO right here, um, where I'm, my cursor is over it right here. This is a Star Atlas Decentralized Autonomous Organization. 
you could actually stake your Atlas tokens within the DAO as long as you don't want to actually trade your Atlas tokens in within 21 days, because I believe that it takes 21 days to unstake your Atlas tokens. You can click on that and stake your Atlas tokens within the DAO. And what it will do, you connect your wallet right there, and what it will do is actually give you rewards in Polis, which is the governance token of Star Atlas. And if you're interested in learning more about that, I have a video um, that I actually put out and it is right here. It's called Earn Passive Income with Star Atlas. You can watch that video and I talk all about how you can actually stake your Atlas or your Polis tokens and earn yourself some rewards. So I hope this was useful. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet because I put out all sorts of tutorial videos all the time. I talk all about the game. Anything that ever comes up new in the game in the future, I'm doing a video on it. You'll bet that. Um, I love you guys all. Please hit that like button. I will talk to you in the next one. Later.